Hello everybody, this is Gregory with The Cinema Rag. I hope you're doing well today. Today we're going to talk about what happened to Tara Reid. Now before we begin, if you appreciate my content all, please like, subscribe to this channel, and post a comment. You might have a history of Tara Reid. Now if you're younger, if you're a young millennial or Gen Zer, you probably don't know who Tara Reid is. If you're my age, certainly you'll probably know who Tara Reid is. She was a, she's an American actress. She's still alive. She's about 48 years old. Definitely her apex was in the late 90s, early teens. She's probably most famous. I mean, some would say she's most famous for her bad plastic surgery and her bad television shows she did later on. But in terms of her movies, probably American Pie was her apex. She was also in The Big Lebowski, Josie and the Pussycats, My Boss's Daughter, Van Wilder. She definitely had a peak and in that late 90s, early 90s period, you would commonly see her on Maxim's list. You remember Maxim, the magazine? list of hottest women and so forth and then her career tailed off so we're going to talk about why that is and in no particular order number one she's not a good actress and in fact i, I mean i don't think this is like an accurate indicator of of bad acting but she received razzies so razzies are, are kind of the tongue-in-cheek worst performance awards that are given out right before the academy awards and she's gotten it three times uh, i know in particular she got it for my boss's daughter and i believe she also got it for just married uh, the movie that uh, Ashton Kutcher and, and Brittany Murphy did. And she's admitted that hurt her feelings. I'm going to quote her here because she's pretty honest about her career. She said, quote, this is what she told the Daily Mail. You have your speech all prepared and you practice in the mirror with a toothpaste as your microphone, she said about her dream about winning an Academy Award one day. I would love a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame too. There's still time for that. Yeah, uh, probably not now. So I think part of it is that she's just not a good actress. I mean, you can see it in, again, her most probably watched movie ever, American Pie. We have an episode here, and I'll put the banner up here, ranking the American Pie actors, like who overall had the best career post that movie, excluding Jennifer Coolidge and Eugene Levy, because they were already pretty well-known stars at the time. And newsflash is not her. So that's one thing. She's just not a good actress. And when you're not a good actress and your looks fail, the next generation of young actresses will replace you. Uh, number two. She partied. She had a party image. And I think this is coupled by a couple of things that made it even worse. So in the early 2000s, this, this, she was partying all the time with the Hilton sisters. I mean, go talk, talk about a flashback. But then you have to give credit to Paris Hilton. She just recently had two kids, and she's in her 40s, and she still has the same body that she had back at her peak in the early 2000s. But she was hanging out with, with uh, Nicole Richie, the Hilton sisters, Lindsay Lohan, and again, you know, she's a young woman in Hollywood, and she was just partying too much. And I think that didn't help. Now, she has a quote about that as well that she thinks it's hypocritical today. Quote, we popped bottles of champagne, but who doesn't? They are all were in jail. She's talking about other young celebrities that were doing worse things. They were all in jail, and they all did effing sex tapes crazy sheet rock she said i think i got it harder than anyone else you look at jennifer lawrence she does every interview with a beer in her hand she doesn't get in trouble i was ahead of it all and then i got hit the worst i think another thing and look again a lot of starlets drink too much and hang out of bars so maybe she has a point there uh, but i think it's a component and we'll talk about how all these things kind of lined up to just ruin her career Number three, she had bad plastic surgery. And in fact, probably the most famous of this was in the early 2000s when she got a really bad boob job. And then it went from there. Like if you look at pictures of her today, she's 48. If you look at a 48-year-old woman who's never had any work done in her body, you can still kind of see her natural look. And yeah, of course, she's going to have uh, you know wrinkles and so forth. That's part of aging. But you look at, at Tara Reid, you can see the effects of just the plastic surgery. And typically with plastic surgery, it's not like you get it one time. It's like a tattoo. It's like these things where it becomes compulsive. She, she's had a lot of work done. But she had a really bad boob job in 2004. And she was at a party with, with Puff Daddy where they took a picture. And um, we'll just quote her, what, what she says about that. She spoke about her experience with CBS News. I was smiling like a fool and people were snapping away. When I realized it, I cried and begged the photographers not to print it, but it was everywhere. I was, it, I was on the websites as having the ugliest boobs in the world. And then she talks about later on about her bungled body uh, being on Us Weekly after a lot of plastic surgery. She, says, she said, quote, my stomach became the most ripply, bulgy thing. I had a hernia this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini and I lost a lot of work. 
Um, I think another thing that didn't really help was that Perez Hilton, again, this is all a flashback to 20 years ago. Perez Hilton had a very big website slash blog. And Perez Hilton liked, he was kind of like a prototype to TMZ right before TMZ got really big. And he would go and just pretty much make fun of celebrities, find embarrassing pictures of them, like if they're drinking or if they're in jail, and just just rip them down. And and uh, Tara Reid was a very common target of Perez Hilton early on, among with other actresses, but he really targeted her. And later on, he kind of had a come to Jesus moment where he in fact kind of recanted and repented for some of the things he said. And he, he even addressed it with, Tara Reid, and he apologized to Tara Reid. He said, quote, I'm sorry for my past coverage of Tara Reid. I could have covered her then sloppiness and problematic behavior with more empathy. And they seem to have reunited and uh, get along because she's actually been to some of his parties. Then later on, like when, when her career is gone, because now she's had the plastic surgery and she parties too much. So in the mid 2000s, then she starts making poor career choices because understandably so, right? You're you're kind of at the pinnacle. You're a young up and coming actress after American Pie, Big Lebowski, all these movies. You're beautiful and so forth. And then you see your career, you're falling off the wall. And so you make poor choices. So she starts to drink way, way too much. She's put in rehab in 2008 and um, that doesn't help. Now she's got major substance abuse problems. Whereas early on, I think in her career, you know, she was just partying too much. It's kind of like kind of like Vincent Chase at Entourage, where he just you know drinks and parties, and then near the end he gets hooked on all the drugs. So that didn't help. And then she just made poor career choices because you think of the late knots. In the late knots, she's still you know mid thirties, late early thirties, and then she starts doing the Sharknados. She starts doing a lot of reality shows uh, that don't really help her career. And I mean, and, and you get it right because there are these these two forces. One is she wants to stay relevant. Hollow was not given her roles. There's always a room for reality TV. She knows on some level that being on reality TV guarantees that she'll never get a good TV or a movie role because again, like who's who's on reality television, right? It's always like Flavor Flav and Danny Bonaducci, like these these total has-beens, right? But at the same time, she knows I need the money, right? And this is all I have. I'm not getting bigger work, and at least I'm kind of staying relevant. And so, you know, you kind of understand and feel for her. So she makes all these poor choices during the last 10 to 15 years of her life. And then if you look at her personal life, she dated Carson Daly 20 years ago, back when she was at her peak of her beauty. And then really since then, it's just been, you know, riding the carousel, as, as the guys would say in the Manosphere, just a lot of partners, a lot of lovers. And I think that this really hasn't boded well for her. She's even been in some fake relationships uh, in, the, in the 2010s with various like tycoons from Bulgaria and other guys, grifters and so forth that have taken advantage of her. And she even was on a reality television show with her fiance and then she made it later on that they weren't even together, that she was doing it as a favor to him because he had tax problems and he was okay with being somewhat famous. So they, they fabricated this ruse uh, that they were together. And so that doesn't hasn't really helped. And then you look, if you look at her IMDb, I, I don't think I've ever seen an IMDb that has so many no links or descriptions of movies than Tara Reid. So if you look, I'm just going to roll these off. She was in Big Lebowski 2 in 2011, but she goes from, oh, I don't know, 2014. I'm going to roll these off really fast. These are all movies that she's been in since 2014. Okay. Charlie's Farm, Tie the Knot, Worthless, Do Justice, Party Bus to Hell, A Royal Christmas Ball, Ouija House, Christmas Manager, United Colors of Bennett's Song, Andy the Talking Hedgehog, American Christmas, Art of the Dead, Second Chance for Christmas, Attack of the Unknown, Bleach, Baby Bulldog, Fifth Burrow, Memoirs of a Fighter, Spare Me, Attraction to Paris, Mummy Dearest, Bloodthirst, Sally Floss, Digital Detective, Air Force Z. None of those have links. They don't even have a link. Just tell you, like, straight to DVD, straight to whatever. It's just, you know, I feel bad for her. So in closing, what happened to Tara Reid? Why don't we see her? Well, the overall big reason, and before I talk about the kind of this summation, she never had got married officially, and she's never had kids, sadly. I think Tara Reid is a cautionary tale, honestly. She's a good old American girl. She's got that American California beauty, and I think she came to Hollywood. She admitted she, you know, one day dreamed of being on the, on the Walk of Fame, and... 
I think she got just sucked into the, the world of Hollywood and Hollywood will do this. If you're not grounded and rooted and also if you don't really have a lot of talent, it's just going to chew you up. It's like the great story in, in the Gospels about the prodigal son, right? You're just going to get sucked into this world of fame. All these people you think are your friends because you're spending money and you got all this fame, but really they're just all parasitical and they're just using you. And then when you lose that fame, they're gone. They were never your real friends. And then she just made a, 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 a lot of poor decisions, right? She started drinking too much. She started partying too much. She started doing plastic surgery. People aren't going to hire you if you can't come to the set on time. And of course, it doesn't really help if you're not talented, but at least you look at like someone like Shannon Elizabeth, someone else who was on American Pie. Her career was a different type of career afterwards, but it wasn't a complete train wreck like Tara Reid's was because she made better choices. And we know that with substance abuse and getting sucked into that party spirit, um, you're just guaranteeing that you're going to lose your career, especially if it's coupled with really bad plastic surgery and really bad career choices. So I think all these things lined up to destroy her career. And now I, I, I feel bad for her. I think she's a cautionary tale. And I would like to think like up and coming actresses um, you know, in their in their young 20s, kind of look at Tara Reid and, and see her as like, I don't want to make these mistakes. And the number one thing is don't get into substance abuse. I think that's the number one thing for women and don't get a lot, if any, plastic surgery. Guys, post in the comments, what's your relationship with Tara Reid? I'd like to hear from you. Until next time, take care, God bless and pray.